on EA Sports. On deck, we've got what should be a great matchup between the Kansas City Chiefs and the Detroit Lions. I'll be back with you again with scores around the league at halftime. But kickoff right around the corner. And standing by to call the action, here are Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. First open in 2002. There's a look inside Ford Field here in downtown Detroit, the Motor City. Both teams emerging from the Ford Field tunnels just a short time ago. And, of course, the loudest cheers were reserved for the hometown Lions. They're set to go as they will match up with the Kansas City Chiefs. Along with Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, And, Charles, we look at this Lions team entering play. They've got to be pleased with the start to this season. Obviously, a perfect 3-0. Three good quality wins, too. It's got people in the locker room excited. They're thinking that this could be their year. Meanwhile, for the visitors here, the Chiefs, they come in feeling good after back-to-back -back victories. And they looked awfully good last week and came away with a two-touchdown victory. They did have a few reasons for concern defensively, but all in all, they'll take a repeat here if they could get it. It's 3-0 versus 2-1, and one, a good early season battle as we're underway in week four. That's fielded in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Patrick Mahomes now in his third season in the league, leading the Chiefs onto the field. And, boy, with the Chiefs traded starting quarterback Alex Smith before 2018, a lot of people were wondering how good Patrick Mahomes could be, and he showed the entire league how good he could be, racking up over 5,000 yards and tied for second-most passing touchdowns in a season with 50 of them. And he was handed the MVP and Offensive Player of the Year awards. The run on first down gets him a couple up to the 27. Only a couple for him there on the game's first play, and it's second down. And, Charles, now we get our first look at this offense. And one guy you have to look at in particular is Kyle Long. Can play guard or tackle with a nice degree of nastiness. They'll break the huddle, come up on second and eight at the 27-yard line. Here's Mahomes to throw. Looking middle, and that's complete. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. It'll be a pickup of 16 and a Chiefs first down. I do believe we'll see a little bit more of this as this game progresses because when you can have that type of a game in the middle of the defense, it hurts them in so many ways because most teams like to be strong down the middle. And if you can sting them there, that opens things up for you on the outside as well. But that's where he, their big tight end, is so good. That middle third, the seam routes, the in routes. Yeah, you're right. Probably see more of that. Yeah, it takes a lot of courage and fortitude to go in the middle as well. <laughs> and he's got it. It's a loss of a yard there and now second down. Let him go by a little too easily there. Well, that's what we saw on film, isn't it? His head goes down oftentimes when he goes to punch when he's trying to block. And when you do that, you can't see your target. He went right past him and made the play. Second and 11 now. Mahomes got his man. That's me, Cole Hardman, the rookie. And it's going to be another first down as they'll get him to the ground at the Lions 40. Hardman, the second round pick out of Georgia, really showcased his speed at the combine, running a 4 3 3 40. And should help give Patrick Mahomes another versatile playmaker to work with at the receiver position. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. A look now at the starters on the defensive side for the Lions. They were quite formidable in the win over the Eagles a week ago. And I'm eager to see the game plan and trying to attack them this week because when you take it away four times through interceptions, do you now decide that I can't throw the ball against this team and try to run it like crazy? Or do you challenge them? This is going to be fun. From the 39, Mahomes. And this one caught by Travis Kelsey. 
And it's going to be another first down as they'll get him to the ground at the Lions 24-yard line. A lot of tight ends just use their size and their strength, trying to occupy some space and kind of body people away and catch the football. But not this guy. He's a refined route runner. Makes me wonder if he took some dance classes in his background with his footwork. And to give this time to the tailback. And he's going to lose yards. They take him down at the 26. Now that sends him two yards in the wrong direction and leads to second down. I like the strategy. Extra tight ends, extra beef. They want to run the football, but that means they probably want to run it inside. If you get strung out on the perimeter, you're in peril. Yeah, we saw the result. Negative yardage. A rare misstep on that last play because the drive has been strong, but now it's second and 12. Patterson on the draw play. It'll be a gain of five, and it's going to bring up a third and about seven left. So we'll look here at the key inactives, and we got this list before the game down on the field. And they tell us the same thing every time, don't they? Next man up. No excuses. Be ready to play. That's the mantra of every organization. The key is having guys on the roster who are capable of filling in and playing at a high level. That's when you know you've drafted well, scouted free agents well, and stocked your team just the way you're supposed to. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. How about the start throwing the football? Four for four on this opening drive. Oh, he's slinging it. And oftentimes when you talk about slinging it, you're thinking about a guy throwing it all over the yard, not necessarily accurately. In this case, though, he's honing in on his targets, and he's delivering. Yeah, the opening script, however, they drew it up for this first drive, going to plan so far. Yellow, yellow. Get him, get him. They'll try to run for it on first and goal. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. The evolution of Clay Matthews as a player is just one that they're going to end up writing books about. He didn't even start until his senior year at USC. He didn't start in high school. And now he's at all-pro level in the NFL. How about the play he just made there? Yeah, he has certainly made a name for himself. William Clay Matthews III. So they're backed up to the three-yard line, second and goal. Mahomes now to throw. Rush coming, and he's taken down. Wesley Rudyard, he does a little bit of everything, and this time he gets the sack. When you're this close to the goal line, you've got to expect pressure from the defense, so the ball's got to come out fast. Got to get out of his hands quicker. They need to reverse the trend. The last two plays have gone backwards. Now it's third and goal to throw. It's Mahomes. Complete the tight end, Kelsey. And it's a fumble. And this is scooped up by the Lions. Often on fumbles, you look at the guy who coughed it up and say, geez, what did he do? But hey, let's tip the cap to the defense here. Not a problem at all, my man. I'm not going to tip it. I'm going to doff my cap to him. Congratulations. Big time play. Knocking it free and creating something good for your team. And Detroit getting set to go now. at carry on Johnson second year man out of Auburn and he's brought down but not before they get it across the 20 yard line 15 yards for the Lions there at a first down Go! 
And this should be the final play before the quarter ends. They stay on the ground on first for Johnson. And he'll be taken down as that will take us to the end of the first quarter of play. We're scoreless after one. Second quarter action now from Detroit, and it's the homestanding Lions who have the football as they've got it with a first and ten. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. They give to Johnson going right. And some room to run now. Fighting through, and he's got space. Touchdown, Detroit. Carry on Johnson. His fourth touchdown on the year. As his guys are first out of the scoreboard here this afternoon. Well, the game had been pretty uneventful offensively until that big strike. No doubt about it. Almost felt like that they were just going back and forth a little bit in the first quarter. But in the second quarter, things ramped up a little bit. <laughs> things jumped up. And you're exactly right. Going to make a highlight film or two. We'll be watching that one later on today. On for the point after is Randy Bullock. It's up. It's good. And the Lions lead 7-0. The drive there only spanning three plays. And the touchdown run came from Carrion Johnson to cap things off. The kickoff unit is out on the field and they will send this one away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. A reminder coming up tonight, a tough ticket in New Orleans. The Cowboys in town to take on the Saints on Sunday night football. And tomorrow night, Charles and I, we go to Pittsburgh. Bengals and Steelers, two teams, well, they don't like each other very much. That's well documented. That starts at 8.15 Eastern as we close out the month of September. They're going to start to drive here on the ground with Patterson. And he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. What's the old expression? Three yards in a cloud of dust? In this case, it's dust-covered pellets. It's no longer that old grass that we used to play on right and chew it up. Now we've got that artificial surface. You see the pellets go up. Still a nice play by the defense. Some of these play calls. I think they're a little conservative, but you know me because it's easy to sit up in this booth, right, and make all the calls and, and think I'm going to be correct. But I would like to see them open things up because otherwise this defense is going to gang up on the run and set them down. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Here's the Chiefs punter now as he's on to punt for the first time this afternoon. They only punted twice in the win last week as he gets this one away. This is taken at about the 14. Shedding the tackle. A great blocking nearly sprung him there. 28-yard return. And the Lions will take over. Back onto the field comes the offense. Let's take a closer look at Carrion Johnson. And he's made it easy for us to put together a highlight package. Just wondering what he ate before this one started. <laughs> Let's include that in the package, right? Get the gourmet out here, figure it all out. And he guaranteed he'll do that going forward as well because in a game like this, you don't want to change things too much. Oh, yeah, you also want to continue to get that great blocking he's received today, too. Yeah, kudos to the guys up front indeed. They will get four yards here on the first down run, and that'll make it second and six. Anthony Hitchens, second in the AFC in tackles last year, there to bring him down. I call that play a success. A nice inside run sets up a very manageable second down, a very solid gain on that play. To throw on second and six, Goff. He's going to look deep for Perriman. This is caught inside the 15. And this will send him up nicely deep down in KC territory. I know we love our jobs, and pretty much any play we see, we're pretty, you know, excited about. But big plays, let's face it, that's what we absolutely live for. How about that one? That was great. And what our camera missed was the fist pump from the sideline after that catch. They're fired out. That's a big game. Here we go. 
approach. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. Johnson. And that'll hurt the average a bit as this time they're able to get him behind the line. The defense showing some anger after giving up the big play. This time they'll lose one or two. On second and 12, Goff. And that is caught. Touchdown, Detroit. Rashawn Perriman, his fifth touchdown now on the year. And the Lions are able to extend their lead. Brandon, my man, just one sentence for that one. Clinic. And that's what they've done. They lead the league in points per game this season, but it's been quick strikeability as we saw on that drive. I think they're actually intimidating defenses because they're back on their heels right away, wondering where it's going to come from, how they're going to hit them. This group is well organized, well coached, and extremely confident in what they do. Here's Bullock now for the extra point. And it's good to make it 14-0. A drive there of just four plays. And it's capped off by a touchdown for the Lions. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. Last year's MVP, Patrick Mahomes, leading the Chiefs for their next possession. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their 25-yard line. And he'll give it here to his running back. And boy, this defense again really making things tough on him as they stop him for no gain. Well, that didn't appear to be a run blitz. He just darted in once he saw the run develop. That appeared to be a case of see ball, get ball. Throwing on second down, Mahomes. And that'll be incomplete. It's been my observation, there's been a nice variety of play calling defensively. You and I often talk about an offense's ability to keep a defense off balance with what they're doing. I think the converse has been true in this game. Yeah, I think you're right. They seem to have gone on tendency quite a bit, but only the second quarter, a lot of time to change things. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. Give him 15 yards on that one. Kansas City has a first down. Thus far, it hasn't been a real fun half for them, but a play like that, that may get them off the schneid a little bit, get them loosened up and moving. Kind of seems like they've been sleepwalking and still sitting on zero points. And it's not always making an adjustment. Sometimes it's just going back to what you know can work and finally yo, getting yo. it done. Two minutes to play, first half. It's 14 to nothing. A reminder, once we hit halftime, as we do all season, we'll send it down to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. He'll have all the stats and scores from games in progress around the NFL. The best multitasker in the business, the coach. And able to rip off a big chunk of yardage before being dropped inside the 40. A good pick up there, a 22. And there's a completion to the tight end. And look at the size of these players nowadays. At that spot, 6'4", six, 6'5", six, and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players, somehow came back to football. And that's really good for the game of football. You're getting better athleticism, great hand-eye coordination, guys who know how to control their bodies when they run their routes. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Mahomes going to throw. And it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. A gain of six there on first. That's a staple of this offense, drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. 
And again, it's Mahomes. He's got his man. This is Tate. And this won't be enough to pick up the first. A gain of two, third and one. The Chiefs will use the first of their timeouts as he'll stop it with exactly a minute to go before halftime. They have the catch on second down, but it didn't help at all. And now they're looking at third down here. Now it's Mahomes again. He's got his man. That's Hardman. Now another timeout called for go, by the offense as the clock will stop with 55 seconds to go until halftime. Mahomes will bring him up first and 10. And he's five for six now throwing the ball on this drive. Mahomes to throw once more. He's got the first down inside the 10. And finally down at the nine-yard line. The Chiefs have got the passing game rolling a bit. And another first down. This is first and goal and a golden chance to get a score back here before halftime. Mahomes hit. He lost the football. On plays like this where the ball comes free, it's often unusual for the team that lost it to get it back. Because... This is, this is the quarterback. The ball gets away from him. Everyone else is trying to execute what they're supposed to do on offense. They're usually looking in the other direction, downfield, or have moved away from him. In this case, though, a teammate is able to come up with the ball. Boom! Set, baby! Set! After review of the play... This challenge was initiated by the guys in New York taking a look at the play. Less than two minutes to go. Yeah, I'm sure the coach wanted to challenge it, so he's probably going to send the New York office a holiday card. The Chiefs quickly now going to use the last of their timeouts as it'll come with 15 seconds to play in the first half. Protection certainly going to need to be a bit better here on second and 16. Throwing now is Mahomes. Completes it to Hardman. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. Pushing the foul, roughing the passer, defense. Well, they'll get the yardage, but they hate to see him take that hit. You're always trying to cool off a big-time guy throwing the ball, but you have to know when to back off, pull up, and not hit him. There's the penalty. Now the holds. And that is caught for the touchdown, Kansas City. Nicole Hardman in the final seconds of the first half as they are now on the board here in the first half. The way this one was going, you just got the sense they needed something before half. They've at least got something on the board now. Still trailing, but a good sign. That takes me back to our preseason tour of NFL camps. You remember we, we talked with that one coach who said his emphasis this year was scoring in the last two minutes yep. of a half, heading into the locker room. This hits it right there. Take that momentum, take that good feeling, and take the locker room, regroup, and start over. They got it here. They did indeed, and a lot of football, full half to be played. A 10-play drive that time, and it's capped off with a Kansas City touchdown. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. This is fielded at the goal line. And good starting field position. He'll get this one all the way up to about the 35-yard line. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. Time for a final kneel down or a safe run, and then they can head to the locker room with a lead. Yeah, or they can even run a screen. You know, something they feel is somewhat safe. This is caught inside the 15. And this will set them up nicely deep down in KC territory. So we have reached halftime with a touchdown. That's the difference on the scoreboard. As we'll send you down to Orlando, we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, we'll get back to you guys in a bit. But first, time for a trip around the league on this final weekend of September. We'll begin up at legendary Lambeau Field in Green Bay. And as you see, they were winners back on Thursday night. Aaron Rodgers leading the way in the victory with three touchdown passes. 
from there, we'll make the trip down to Indianapolis to check on the Colts at home at Lucas Oil Stadium. And they trail that one to the visiting Oakland Raiders. Willie Sneed, a touchdown reception. Finally, we're off to Atlanta to check on the Falcons at home at Mercedes-Benz Stadium. And at halftime, they trail the visiting Titans in that ball game. Derrick Henry, a touchdown run in that first half. In the game you're watching, it was Jared Goff with a strong first half. His guys have the lead, as we'll hand it back over to our commentators, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Okay, Coach, appreciate it. A one-touchdown game here as we get set to resume play in the second half. The Lions in the lead, and they're going to get the football first as well as the second half is underway. This will be taken in at the one. Shedding the tackle, and it gives him some room. Still plenty of time left in the game, but now starting to pull away a little bit. Get some breathing room with that one. And I don't want people to think that NFL locker rooms are cookie cutter, that everyone's saying the exact same thing in every situation. But I do know that all 32 teams have an emphasis on starting fast. Game, you know, second half, no matter what, whether it's first five minutes, first three, whatever, this was a big score to start the second half. Bullet good on the extra point, and it's now 21-7. So that one goes down as a 99-yard kick return for six from the one-yard line all the way to the house on the other end. So let's try this again. After the kick return TD, here's yet another kickoff. That's fielded in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. So here's the Chiefs offense ready for their first reps in half number two. They have the ball here for the inaugural drive of the second half. Pretty big deficit, though. We'll see what adjustments were made in that locker room. And I never want to make something more important than it actually is, right? I don't want to create more hype than what is there. But, but this is a do real, I'm doing it, though. <laughs> this is a really important drive. And we often talk about teams scripting plays to start a game. A lot of them script to start the second half, too. And they're scripting something that they expect to get them into the end zone and back into this game. We'll see if that script is a good one for them. You know, despite the scoreline, I think they've got to like where they are here. They're on the road in just one big play away from getting right back in this game. I'm going to follow right along with you because the spot they're in now is a credit to their defense. They've kept them in it by making the plays that they've made, and that just means you're one big score away from being right back there. Now the question is, can this offense step up and make that play? Because that's been an issue for them in this game. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Now here's Mahomes. Open man there is Patterson, complete. And he's going to have the first down yardage to the 35. A nice first down pickup on a gain of six. I know most of the time when the ball's in the air, you're thinking wide receiver, tight end, but running backs, they can be a big part of any passing offense nowadays. Mahomes now pretty amazing. 14 of 16 throwing the ball. It's first and 10. Looking to throw is Mahomes. And he's got his man out of the backfield. That's complete. No gain on the play there. It'll be second down. Well, that was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained, so they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He could make a man or two miss. And with a flag down, he goes down. So they're able to sack him. Now the penalty looks like it could be holding. Let's find out. 
Kind of surprised they accept the penalty. The only thing that comes to mind for me is they want to move them back five yards because they feel good about their defense. But in most situations, you take the down. That, that's, that's what counts more. Mahomes on target here to Hardman. Without the previous penalty, that would have been a first down. Instead, it's just a gain of 10. Throwing is Mahomes on third. It's Kelsey on the ground. And he'll go down to the ground at the 39, and obviously that's well short of the first. They get only four that time as that leads us to a fourth down. So much about this game is just understanding situations and then having to execute, isn't it? Guard the first down sticks. Don't let them get there. And they rallied and made the tackle. Here's the Chiefs punter now as he'll kick it away for the second time. And great special teams work here. This is knocking on the door of the five. They'll spot it at the six-yard line. Well, someone's going to be happy with that effort. You know who else is going to be happy? His defense. Absolutely. <laughs> He's created a very long field for that offense to try to traverse. And he got some help from Mr. Football there. Checking up nicely. Good English on that punt. Johnson and able to get it here to about the 16-yard line. Ten yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Yeah, another good run there. He's been such a big part of their success here this afternoon. And that last carry, it puts him over 100 yards now for the day. Again, it's Johnson. That's a strong running, and he's got room. And now off to the races, down the right side. Touchdown, Detroit! Carry on Johnson, 84 yards, and the Lions are able to extend their lead. He's been having a great game, and that one right there, his best run so far, and it ends with six points. And not only that, in his mind, what is he thinking? Can I get to 200 yards as well? Because he knows he's closing in on it. He may not know the exact number, but the best runners have a feel of what the yardage is that they're compiling, and he knows that he's getting close to that 200-yard mark now. Now Bullock to add the extra point. He knocks it through. It's 28-7. It only took him two plays there to find the end zone. The last one, the long run, getting him in for six points. is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. That's fielded in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback and it comes out to the 25-yard line. And now here comes Kansas City. And here we are almost through three quarters of play and this passing game still has not really found any kind of rhythm. Put it mildly because they're not even over 100 yards yet. And in today's NFL where it's a pass-first league, that is quite surprising. Not many teams patient enough to stick with the run. Everybody wants to advance the ball through the air. They've got to get their timing back. Here's Patterson. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. From the gun, it's Mahomes. He's going to flip one out here to his running back. Everyone's got to be able to catch the football. Doesn't matter what position you play, but if you're on offense, be aware, a ball may come your way. From the gun on third down, Mahomes. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Romeo Aquara able to drop him for a loss of two, and that will bring up fourth down. I think we've seen this before. Someone's down three scores. 
that situation there, it's just going to add to their growing frustrations, don't you think? Yeah, a bad number three right now. Three score game, third quarter, three and out, not what they wanted. And you can tell on the sideline, those faces are getting a little bit longer as this one goes. Here's the Chiefs punter now as he's on to kick it away. Take it in at the 22. 12 yards on the return that time. And possession will switch. Hands first and 10. Try to get one more in here before the quarter breaks. On first down, it's gone. He's going to look deep for Perriman. And that is caught. One-handed. Oh, my. Hold it in. Touchdown. Detroit, Brashad Perriman with his second TD of the game, his sixth on the year. And the Lions are able to extend their lead. That's an early touchdown grab for last week's NFC Offensive Player of the Week. He was so electric, and they talked about it all week long. Have to try to contain him. And now for him, being able to focus on the task at hand and not just immediately assume that last week it totally carries over, but you got to like the start that he has, showing those great hands that we've seen from him throughout. Here's Bullock now for the extra point. And he's been a busy man, five for five now as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Here's the Kansas City offense now as they get set to take over. And they're coming off a three and out, my friend. I think they've got to look at that play sheet and go to a spot that they haven't gone before. Time to shake things up a little bit to try and get this offense moving. Okay, so how do you do that? How do you shake things up? You look at what you've called before, realize it hasn't worked <laughs> so well, else. and maybe you try and find one of those special plays from one of your better players, and maybe try and hit something big and get things going in the excitement area. Second and six, just inside the 30. At the 29-yard line. Second and six. That one caught by Tyreek Hill. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Give him 13 yards there and a Kansas City first down. Mahomes now on first down. And his throw here is incomplete. Golden Tate, his intended receiver. And that'll bring up second down. Another wayward pass. You know, things started out poorly in this game, and to be frank, they just really haven't gotten much better. And all that does is embolden a secondary. They feel good about what's going on, and they just play better and better. And they'll get nine there as that sets them up better for third down. In so many ways, throwing the hitch route is actually one of the safer things an offense can do. Get the ball out to the receiver as fast as possible. Hope he's got man-to-man -man coverage and hope that his athleticism wins on the perimeter. The Chiefs on third down. They're at 50%, four for eight. They need just a yard here. It's third and one. A shotgun handoff to Patterson. Well, they hit him in the backfield, and he will not escape. And that is not going to get it done. That'll back him up two yards and also bring up fourth. Up front, the struggles continue for this offense among the line. What can they do? Change the play calling? What? I think part of that, yes, changing some of the play calls, some screens, some draws, some misdirection. You want to run any type of a play that will influence these guys to continue to get upfield and find a way to use that against them and slip things in behind them. So some quick passes could work as well. Here's the Chiefs punter now. He's been one of their few bright spots so far. He gets us away. It's a good one. Drawing toward the sidelines. 
And problem spreading to the punt team now. This one goes all the way into the end zone on the fly, so that'll come back to the 20. So here are the Lions to take over. They're on a three-game winning streak, and right now looking good in this one as well. First down. He's going to look deep for Perriman. And that will be incomplete. Would have been a big hitter if they had connected. Instead, it's second down. After the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 20. Now Johnson. And he'll be upended after a gain of five up to the 25-yard line. Bottom line, they want to keep this clock rolling, so they'll take that one right there. They just want to keep falling forward, and they want to put the onus on the big fellas up front in order to bring this one home. And he will be very close to a first down, but I see the closed fist of the referee, and that means fourth down. And there's a run to be happy with. Good, solid yardage. He'll take that any time he hand the ball to a back. The offense here not budging. They're going to fight for it on fourth and inches. Here's Bonin. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. First down, Lions on a pickup of 13. And yes, everyone, that was the fullback carrying the football. I know it's a dying breed. It's a dying position for a lot of people, but I still think it's valuable and important, especially one who can carry the ball. And you need short yardage. What makes sense? Go to a big body, let him plow forward just like he did there. It's still a big man's game. Well, they don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. On first and ten, gone. A 50-50 ball here, and it's intercepted. Picked off at the 36. And they take possession of the football and have it at the 36-yard line. Now they get a fourth quarter pick, a little something to hang their hat on, I guess. Okay, so let's face it, though. Who's happy about this play? Fantasy guys, right? Yeah. The analytics will tell you one thing or another. That's a bad play on one hand, a good play on the other but it's all about the fantasy points here. Yeah, because this ball game is over. The Chiefs offense now making their way back onto the field. These guys had to punt their last possession, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. Too many of these drives just wound up going nowhere. Well, you know how in baseball, when the pitcher gets a base hit and he's on base, they bring his jacket out to him to keep him warm? A lot of times the punter goes to the sideline and puts on sweatpants or a wrap over his leg to keep it warm. He might need a massage from the trainer right now <laughs> from all the work he's getting. Yeah, baby! Yeah! So the Chiefs in possession of the ball as we welcome you back. They're looking at second down now as they search for a consolation score. Throwing again on second down. Mahomes. At this point, down big, you'd have to imagine this defense, they're just going to sit back, blanket the field as best they can. Yeah, this is actually the easy part of the game for them because, just as you noted, they can sit back, keep everything in front of them. But they've blanketed the field the entire game using a variety of coverages. And it's complete to Kelsey. And he's got the first down yardage as he brings this up to the 47. Seven catches for him now in this last one, a first down. And that's understanding where the markers are because it's not just running to them. Because on the catch, you could actually be pushed back before the first down. It's getting past it and allowing that opportunity to drift back towards the first down line and still having picked it up. Really well run. Yellow! Let's go, let's go! Throwing on first down is Mahomes. This pass going to be caught by Hardman. A gain of six there on first. 
you got the big lead defensively, willing to give them that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle them after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. And he'll go down shy of the 40 at the 41. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. On first down, Patterson. And they're going to get him behind the line yet again as his nightmare afternoon continues. The Chiefs now going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop him with a little over 30 ticks to go in the football game. On second and one, Mahomes. Oh, a battle for it here, and this will be caught. Now another timeout called for by the offense as he'll stop it with 27 seconds showing on the clock. Mahomes will bring him up first and 10, and he's five for six now throwing the ball on this drive. Operating from the red zone now, Mahomes. And under the Lions' pressure, he's brought down. The Chiefs quickly now going to use the last of their timeouts as they get it with just 19 seconds left on the clock. So now 20 yards to go on second down after the sack. Work to be done. Mahomes now to throw. And he'll complete this one to Patterson. And he'll get it here to the 10-yard line. They had the catch on second down, but it didn't help at all. And now they're looking at third down here. So this one's over. It's a win for the Detroit Lions. And they were buoyed, Charles, by a big second half that put this one on ice. So you get the sense that whatever was said at halftime obviously hit home. I think it's a little bit more than that, though. Obviously, there are words that are said, and hey, come on, guys, we have to play better. But sometimes it's just sharpening your execution, sharpening your focus, and maybe doing the things you practiced all week without major adjustments, just doing them better. And that got it done in this one. So for Detroit, hey, they finish a perfect month of September as they move to 4-0 and on the new campaign. And they'll be able to enjoy this one through the bye week before they get back at it again. Meanwhile, for the Chiefs, they'll fall back to 500 at 2-2. Two and two, And they'll get a chance to redeem themselves at home next week. That'll do it for us. I'm Brandon Gordon, alongside Charles Davis. Thanks to our entire crew as well. We'll talk to you next time. So long, everybody.